there are two defining moments in my woodworking career and they're defined by a couple of the tools that I learned to use and appreciate. The first one is a hand plane. The first hand plane I had, I really had no idea how to use it and I really did not understand the fascination with it and why so many woodworkers used it. So when I got my first hand plane and learned how to tune it and sharpen it, and when I took that first shaving, that was an aha moment for me because then I realized that there is no more accurate tool in the workshop than a hand plane for removing saw marks, planing the face of a workpiece, and fine tuning joinery. So that was a big moment for me. And now I have a whole selection of hand planes and I use and appreciate them almost every day. The second tool that caused an aha moment in my woodworking is a shoulder plane. The shoulder plane when I figured out that it could be used to, to fine tune the fit of a tenon for smoothing a rabbit or a dado joint and fine tuning the fit of that joinery, I was blown away. Now I just want to go over some of the features of a shoulder plane and perhaps you'll put one to use in your shop sooner than later. Shoulder planes come in a variety of sizes and shapes. If you take a look at the sides of a shoulder plane, you'll notice that they're cut out. And more importantly, the blade extends all the way out to the edge. Why is that important? Well, it helps you get into the corners of a joint. For example, a tenon, you could get right into that corner of that joint and clean it up. So these are great tools for fine tuning the fit of a tenon. And speaking of tenons, why are they called shoulder planes in the first place? Well, they were originally designed to clean up the shoulders of a tenon. You lay the plane on its side and you can fine tune the fit of that shoulder to fit your joint. These tools are great for cleaning out dados and fine tuning the depth of the dado for joinery, lap joints, all sorts of applications. They also excel at cleaning up and fine tuning the fit of a rabbit joint. So I think that once you put this to work in your shop, you'll see how it can really change the quality of your joinery and make your projects really stand out. So if you can take the time to purchase and learn how to use a hand plane, I think you'll discover like I did that it really changes the way you do woodworking. And a shoulder plane is one of the best tools you can use to fine tune joinery for those gap free joints and, and get professional results. So I hope you can appreciate the usefulness of these tools and put them to work in your shop.